Yoga Club. Hello and welcome to Yoga Club. I love cats and dogs and I know lots of you love cats and dogs too. I'm here with my dogs right now, Minnie and Spence. We have lots of lovely yoga and mindfulness all about cats and dogs for this week's yoga club, starting with our favourite space chimp, Mike, and his dog, Mutnik, an astro dog. I'll be doing some shout outs in between the videos, so keep watching to hear yours if you've written in. You can always message me at yogaclub at cosmickids.com. Now let's get into our yoga. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now let's have a look through our cosminoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> oh, look at the colours all spinning around. They're amazing. Oh, look, the shapes. Oh, can you see the picture? <gasps> yes, look. It's a monkey and a dog. It's Mike, the cosmic space monkey. And Mutnik, the astro dog. What are Mike and Mutnik doing? They're doing yoga. They're doing double tree pose. This is so exciting. Mike and Mutnik, they live on the moon. So that means we're going into space. We're going to the moon. This is so much fun. Let's start by taking some big, brave breaths. We crisscross our fingers and put them under our chin and we take a big breath all the way in. Ready? <sighs> Lifting your elbows high, high, high. And then we breathe up to the sky. Ready? Let's do another one of them. Breathing in, lifting your elbows. And breathing out to the sky like a dragon. Very good, everyone. Let's stand up now and take our arms wide to give everyone at home a great big hug goodbye. Bye, everybody. And out of the corner of our eye, we spot outside in the garden our rocket. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide and bring your hands above your head. Look at our rocket everybody and look, take your arms out to the side. It's got great big giant silver wings. Cool, let's go and get in. We jump our feet together, we squat all the way down and then we sit with our legs out long. We reach up and we close the big glass door on our rocket. Bending our knees a little bit to touch our toes. Now we're in our rocket, we activate our ears by giving them a rub all the way round so that we can hear important messages. Oh, and we need to activate our voices so we give our jaws a really good rub as well. Well done, everyone. That means we can speak too. Now we need to turn our rocket on. So we fold forwards and we turn on all of the knobs and beepers. Taking hold of your toes, let's give them all a twiddle. Beep boop boop, 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 beep boop. Very good, everyone. Now we need to check the steering controllers work. Lift up one of your feet and take it over one side. Pew! And the other. Pew! All the way forwards. Pew! And all the way back. Well, that one works. Let's try the other. Putting that one down, lifting up the other side now. Ready? Pew! And the other way. Pew! Forwards. Pew! And backwards. Pew! 
that one works too. I think we are ready for takeoff. Now, turning to the side, we bend our knees, put our feet flat and take our hands behind us. And as we lift our hips, we count down from five. Ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and blast off! We sit with our legs wide, everyone, as we rumble up into the sky. We go over to one way and over to the other way. And then we break through Earth's atmosphere and we feel zero gravity. We lie on our backs, in our seats with our arms wide and our legs float all the way up. We're going into space and it's so lovely. Outside our window, we can see a gazillion stars. It's so peaceful out here. Amazing. Did you hear that? Yes, it's the landing warning. We need to get into our landing position. Coming up, everybody, onto your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. Ooh. We've landed on the moon. Let's wiggle forwards onto our bellies and have a look through our little round window. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> oh, look out there, everybody. It's the moon. We check our wings are OK, looking to each side. Yep. And looking forward, we can see Mike, the cosmic space monkey. Let's get into our space suits. Coming up to stand, everyone. We stand up tall and we wiggle into our spacesuits. Here we go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now we need to put on our jetpack moon boots. We lift up one foot. Oh, try not to wobble. And we put our boot onto our foot. Very good, everyone. Let's try the other side now. Lifting up the other foot, holding onto our moon boot and pop it on. Ooh, very good. Now our helmets. We reach up for our helmet and we put it on our head. Ooh, making sure it's secure at the neck and all of our oxygen works. Very good. Now we need to open up the door. We reach forwards and we lift it up, opening the big glass door. We say, hello space, hello space. And Mike the cosmic space monkey is here and he does a big anti-gravity monkey jump. Now coming down to crouch, it's quite hard doing a monkey jump in anti-gravity because it happens very, very slowly. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Oh, Mike, the cosmic space monkey. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you. It's great that you've come all this way. You're such good friends, but I need your help. My astro dog, Mutnik, he's my best friend. He seems to have disappeared. I can't find him. Last time I saw him was this morning at the Milky Way Cafe. Do you think you can help me? We stand up. Well, good friends always do look out for each other. I think we can help Mike find Mutnik. Hey, did you see that? In the moon dust? Look, folding all the way forwards, we can see something. Use your fingers to clear the moon dust. <gasps> it's a footprint of a cybersaur. That's a space dinosaur. And stand up, everyone, because we can hear it coming this way. Turning to the front, legs wide, fold forwards and hold on to your ankles. He's clumping this way. Clump, 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 clump. Quick, everyone, we need to hide behind the moon rock and so he won't see us. Tuck yourself down into a tiny little moon rock shape. Shh. We sit up after he's gone past and we say, Phew! Gosh, that's a relief. We're glad he's gone. 
Maybe Mutnik was running away from the Cybersaur and he got a bit lost. Hmm. Let's look through our cosmonoculars again and see if we can find him. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, well, it's quite hard to see anything because right in front of us we seem to be looking at the Sea of Clouds. Oh, goodness me, it's quite hard to see where you're going in the Sea of Clouds. For this we need a crater skater. Coming up to stand, everyone. We get on board our crater skater so we can be sonic surfers. Put one foot forwards, one foot backwards. Bend your front knee. Take your arms wide. And off we go, whooshing across the surface of the moon. Whoosh! We jump and do it the other way. Whoosh! Uh-oh. We've stopped because we're right in the middle of the sea of clouds and we can't see where we're going. So we stand with Mike like mountains, as still and as powerful as can be, trying to listen with our special listening ears, taking your arms down by your sides and stand very still like a mountain. We hear something. What's that? Looking with our eyes, we can see through the clouds a mermaid. Oh, but maybe it's not a mermaid. Maybe it's a moon maid. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs around to one side. Put one hand on your knee and the other hand behind you, looking over your shoulder, then looking to the front. She says it again. Mooey. Then she seems to swish her tail around to the other side. She puts her other hand on her knee, her other hand behind her. She looks over her shoulder. She looks back at us and she says, Mooey! Mooey! She's calling us over. We'd better go and find her. Now, to get through the sea of clouds, best thing is to go on our hands and knees so that we can see where we're going. Coming onto your hands and knees, everybody. We reach forwards with one arm and reach back with the opposite leg. Oh, well done, everyone. We bring that hand and that knee back down and we try it on the other side. Reach with one arm and reach with your opposite leg. Very good, strong tummies, everyone. And bring your hand and your knee back down. We make it over to the Moon Maid. And sat next to her is Matnik, the Astro Dog. Hands forward, tuck your toes and lift your bottoms up. He does a happy woof. Woof, 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 woof. He lifts up his tail and gives it a good wag. He's so happy to see us. Coming all the way down to sit like Matnik with your paws up. Oh, Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey is so happy to have find, found his best friend, Mutnik. He's so happy. And we're very glad that Mutnik is safe. It's great that he found help. Whenever you're lost, you should always ask someone for help and they will stay with you until your grown-up friends come back and find you. Now, Mutnik is so relieved. Oh, thank goodness. I was running away from the Cybersaur and then I ran into the Sea of Clouds and I couldn't see where I was going. And this Moon Maid, oh, she's just helped. Hang on, where did she go? We face forwards. We tuck our hands down. We look up and we see the Moon Maid flying up into the Sea of Clouds. Breathing in as you lift up. Breathing out as you lower down. Breathing in. Breathing out. We are so grateful to the Moon Maid for looking after Mutnik. We blow her a big kiss. Time to get back to our rocket, everybody. We need to activate our jetpack boots. We come up to stand and we reach one arm to the sky. We hold onto our foot and we press the sole of our foot with our thumb to activate our jetpack boots. Try not to wobble. Boop, boop. Then we lower that foot. We need to activate the other one. So we lift up our other hand, hold onto our foot. Oh, try not to wobble. And activate the other jetpack boot. Ready? Boop, boop. Very good, everyone. We put that foot down, bring our feet together, our hands above our heads so we can steer, and off we go, up into the moon's surface. Whoosh! Steer 
steering our course all the way back to our rocket. Well done. Jump your feet wide. We've made it back to our rocket and we managed to find Mutnik the Astro Dog, which is amazing. We give Mike the Cosmic Space Monkey a big hug goodbye. And we open our arms again and we give Mutnik a big hug goodbye. It's time for us to go home. So we get back into our rocket, squatting all the way down, taking our legs out long, reaching up high, bending our knees and closing our glass door. <sighs> now we lie back and we wait for our takeoff, taking our arms wide, our legs up in the air, as we feel that zero gravity once more. And as it's our journey back, we let our legs lower all the way down. We take our arms down by our sides and we rest here in our rocket as it flies through the peace of space. We're so glad that we could go and find Mutnik today, that we could help bring our friend back Good friends are so important. You look out for each other. You help each other. You miss each other when you're not there. You look after each and every one of them, making sure they're safe and doing what they can to always be together. We lie here in this peaceful place and think of our friends, those people who are special. And we think about what would we do if we got lost, that we would ask for some help from someone who could help us find our grown-up friends and look after us until they come. That's what Mutnik did. That will mean that we will always be safe. And now it's time to wake up, so we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest, giving them a big squeeze. And we roll over onto our side, coming up to sit with our eyes open now. Our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was awesome. Thanks for coming to the moon and meeting Mike and Mutnik with me. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <laughs> Well, that was a blast. Before we head into our next video, a couple of shout outs. Hello and a happy birthday to Evelyn, who turned four on the 11th of December. I love that you enjoy frozen yoga so much. And it was a joy to see your pictures of you in action doing your yoga. Also a big hello and well done to Navya, who completed the yoga quest. Woohoo! Go Navya! Now we have another lovely video and I'll be back after that with more of your shout outs. Hello, it's Jamie here from Cosmic Kids. I'm here to talk about our app, the safest place to view our videos. This is basically our very own walled garden. It gives you unlimited streaming of all our videos and we make sure there are no ads, no funny links and no suggested videos. To sign up, head to app.cosmickids.com, pick a monthly or an annual subscription, and then you get a two week free trial to see if you like it. Every single video we've ever made is on there and all our new and future videos too. We organize all our videos into helpful playlists, making it super easy to find your way around. You can watch it on your computer or phone using your web browser or by downloading any of the apps which are included in your subscription. And we have these apps for iPhone, iPad, Android, Apple TV, Roku and Amazon Fire TV. 
you can view the videos offline on phones and tablets. Just click to download the video to your Watch Later playlist and watch it whenever you want. This is perfect if you want the peace of mind that your kids aren't connected to the internet. You can also autoplay your favourite videos back to back. Just set the kids up with a Marathon Cosmic Kids session and you can leave them to it. I hope that you love what we're doing with Cosmic Kids and this has helped you understand a little more about the Cosmic Kids app. It is the safest place to view our content and the best way to support us too. Wishing you all the best from the team here at Cosmic Kids. Bye bye. Wonderful. A couple more hellos now. Hello to Violet, who is five and loved the Nutcracker yoga on the Cosmic Kids app. Violet makes a great suggestion for a new yoga adventure. Octonauts. Yes. And Violet, we have a Sleeping Beauty yoga adventure done and waiting for you on the Cosmic Kids app. Go and try it out. If you haven't got the app, go try it at app.cosmickids.com. There's so many great yoga adventures on there that you won't find anywhere else. One more hello now to Ridley, aged five, and sister Eowyn, aged six. Ridley is keen for a Frozen 2 yoga adventure with pictures. Nice idea, Ridley. Thanks. Right, on to our next video, and I'll see you one more time after that for a final couple of shout outs. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we're going to begin as we begin every yoga session, sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed. Then we put our hands together at our heart centre and we say our magic secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. You ready? After three, one, Two, three. Namaste. There, we're ready to begin. And today we're off to see Parsnip the cat. Now, Parsnip the cat is a very special cat. So let's get in a cat-like mood, coming onto all fours and arching our backs and looking into our belly buttons. Then we're going to dip our backs down and wiggle waggle our tails and make a happy cat sound. Meow. Then we're going to lift our backs up again, arching up and looking into our belly button and then dipping our back down, wiggle waggling our tails and saying meow. Then just pretend to lick your arm because it's not very nice really licking your arm. We're going to clean our faces like a cat. Mmm, one side and then the other. Oh, that's better. And cats love to keep themselves clean. So we're going to give our ears a bit of a prod too. Using your finger and your thumb, give them a little pinch and a rub all the way round. Now, pussy cats, especially Parsnip, loves having her back scratched and loves rolling around on it. So come onto your bottom and give your knees a hug. And we're going to roll all the way down and all the way up in one meow. Ready? Meow. <laughs> And again, meow, and last time, meow, that's better. Now Parsnip also loves to get her tummy tickled. So putting your legs out nice and long, lie all the way back down and let your tummy be available for a little tickle. That's it, tickly tummy time. That's lovely. Now Parsnip loves the sunshine. Cats love to sunbathe. So we're going to stand up and we're going to bring the sunshine out. We'll reach our arms to the sky and say, hello sun. Then we're going to bend all the way forwards and touch the floor, maybe bending our knees and say, hello earth. Then you're going to put one leg all the way back behind you and go beep, beep. Yes, put your hands flat, both feet behind you now and onto your tummies. And let's come up into a hissy, scary snake. Yay! Tuck your toes under, lift your bottom up to the air and let's say woof, 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 woof in our doggy pose. Lifting up one leg, that could be our doggy tail. Put your doggy tail between your hands and say beep, beep. Yes, and bring your other foot back and say, hello, Earth. 
and reach up to the sun and say, Hello, sun! That's brought the sunshine out. Now, Parsnip the cat lives in a very nice house, in a very nice street, in a very nice village, with her lady owner, Mrs. Webb. Now, Parsnip loves Mrs. Webb for three very good reasons. She loves the cuddles she gets from Mrs. Webb. She also loves the very comfy, cosy bed she sleeps in. Sitting on your bottom, feet flat, knees bent, hands behind your bottom, lift up into a bed shape. And she loves Mrs. Webb especially for the two delicious meals Mrs. Webb gives her every day. Mmm, rubbing a hand on your tummy and patting your head at the same time. Yes, now Parsnip loves playing in the garden and especially loves chasing the butterflies, bringing your feet together and fluttering your butterfly wings. What colour is your butterfly? Ooh, let's look under this wing, shall we? One, two, three. <gasps> wow, what a beautiful colour. Let's look under the other wing. What colour do you think that one is? Ooh, nice. Let's look under that wing. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, what a beautiful colour there. What about both wings? Shall we try? What colour do you think's under both wings? Oh, yes. Let's have a look. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Yay! What a beautiful butterfly. Now, Parsnip also loves to chase the birds, but the birds always fly away and give her a little tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. She also likes to see whether she can be hoppier and faster than a grasshopper. So coming onto your tummies, come all the way down and lift up one of your legs. Then you're going to use your other foot to try and hold that leg up like a grasshopper. And unfortunately, Parsnip isn't faster than a grasshopper. But there is one thing. Parsnip's got a secret, a special secret. Every night after Mrs. Webb has gone to bed, Parsnip goes out of her cat flap, lifting one paw, two paws, three paws, four paws. Using her little paw tips, she tiptoes, tiptoes, tiptoes to the tree at the back of the garden, which she climbs using her sharp claws. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. She stands very still at the top branch, one foot on top of the other, hands together at your heart, grow your tree up tall, maybe open your branches and stand very still. Yes, and now let's go a bit higher. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Let's try it on the other side. The other foot down, hands together, grow your tree up tall and... I wonder whether this time I might see if I can blow you down. Ready, everyone? <sighs> oh, you're still standing up. You're amazing at being a tree. Now Parsnip comes down the little ramp and walks into the field behind her house, still keeping very quiet where the moon is shining brightly. Now the moon is the same shape as Parsnip's eyes. Meaning, like all cats, Parsnip can see in the dark. Yes! And this is where we learn Parsnip's secret. Shh! Parsnip works in the circus. She's an acrobatic cat. Yes! And every night, our friend Oswald the Owl says hello. Twit, twoo. Twit, twoo. Parsnip goes into the back of the big top tent where she says hello to all of her little circus friends and some of them aren't so little including Ted the elephant sticking out your elephant trunk let's have a big <coughs> perfect then there's Morris the dancing monkey who loves Parsnip he loves jumping up and down as well ready <laughs> And there's Alice, who's a terribly posh horse. She likes to come round, looking her sequin sparkly self, and say... <coughs> then she lifts herself up, turns around, and comes down on the other knee. <coughs> and finally, there's Stan the rabbit. Stan the rabbit loves to bunny hop. So coming onto all fours, press down into your feet, and then you're going to just hop. 
and down, hop and down. Yes, like a little bunny rabbit. Oh, I mustn't forget Leonardo the lion who loves to roar. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> oh, and then there's little Lulu, the lion cub, who hasn't learned how to roar yet, so just sticks her tongue out. Ready? One, two, three. Yes, all of these wonderful friends. Now Parsnip had a very special thing to do tonight. She was going to go on the tightrope and she'd never ever done it before. And so she was feeling a little bit nervous. She was mostly nervous about Meldrum the mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. Meldrum the mouse was really naughty and always tried to distract Parsnip and she just crossed every claw in hope that he wouldn't come and distract her tonight when she was doing her new act. It was time. Standing up everyone, Parsnip trotted into the arena, smiling and waving at her audience. She was very good at smiling and waving. And then it was time for her to climb up the ladder to the tightrope. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. She got to the very top and she took three big breaths to get rid of her nerves. Crisscross your fingers, put them underneath your chin, big breath in and lift up your elbows and breathe out. And again. And last time. That's better. Now she was ready. She lifted up one little cat paw and took one step forward. <gasps> ooh, ooh. It was a bit wobbly, but she got her balance. Then she took one big step forward. Whoop, boing. And she got her balance. Yes, she was here and she was balancing on the high wire. She was going to do her clever trick for now. She was going to jump. Whoop, and do it the other way. Wow, all of the audience gave her a great big round of applause. Parsnip was feeling great and was ready now to try her juggling. So Morris the monkey jumped and threw three balls. Ready? <laughs> Parsnip caught all three of the balls and she began to juggle. But oh no! Coming up the high wire the other way was squeak, 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 squeak. Meldrum the mouse! Oh, that naughty mouse. Poor Parsnip looked at the mouse and looked at her juggling balls and concentrated very, very hard. Meldrum the mouse stood up put his hands on his little mousy hips and started going, Look at me, Parsnip! Look at me! Parsnip didn't know what to do. She jumped and turned the other way. Whoop! And carried on juggling. <laughs> Meldrum the mouse started to bounce up and down on the wire, making it go very very wobbly. Then all of a sudden he fell all the way down to the net beneath, holding onto his feet, calling, I'll get you next time, Parsnip. Oh, Parsnip was herself back on the wire, still juggling and was bending very deeply. But she managed to jump whoop, and do a big bow. Ta-da! She did it! She didn't let that silly mouse distract her. The audience gave her a great big round of applause. Parsnip took another bow, a well-deserved bow, and then trotted down the ladder. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. She was then ready to go home, back to Mrs. Webb. She took off her sparkly sequin gloves and the other one and trotted out of the big top tent. She got back to her cat flap. One paw, two paws, three paws, four paws, and got into her comfy, cosy bed where she curled up like a little proper pussycat in her bed, happy and proud of herself for having managed something she was very, very pleased to have done. She closed her eyes 
and slowed down and thought for a few minutes about Meldrum the mouse who always tried to distract her but how good she was for not letting him for managing to keep concentration on her special juggling just relaxing now just see if you can let your body melt and spend a few moments just a few seconds in complete stillness slowly start to wiggle your toes wiggle your fingers and bring yourself up to sitting with your legs crossed bring your hands together and after three let's say namaste ready one two three namaste well done everyone that was so good what a great story with parsnip the cat i hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again soon bye Before we move into the calming mindfulness of the next videos, let's have a final couple of shout outs. Hello to Oshan in New Zealand, who is five and has been doing Cosmic Kids since he was three and a half. Three and a half! Oshan would like to see a yoga adventure about Lightning McQueen, the racing car. I love the idea, Oshan. Thank you. And finally, hello to Mia, who is five, and her little sister Jojo, who is nearly two. It's lovely to hear how you do yoga with your mum and dad, and you love saying namaste. It's a wonderful moment, isn't it? I love your ideas to do other holiday-themed yoga adventures about Frosty the Snowman and Elf on the Shelf. Oh, we could have lots of fun with that. Right, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of your yoga club now. Keep messaging me and don't forget, you can try the Cosmic Kids app at app.cosmickids.com. I'll see you next time. Bye! Everyone. Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den, your place to feel all calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. Now this is Minnie. She's a little dog who is lovely and relaxed here in my arms. She's been looking forward to her Zen Den and she hopes that it will help you. So let's get comfy and ready for your Zen Den time. Sit with your legs crossed, your hands resting on your knees, your back nice and straight. And let's enjoy a big deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. <sighs> Lovely. Now Minnie, we need to get the Zen Den ready, don't we? So first, let's have some sounds. Ooh! Look at all of these, Minnie. They're nice, aren't they? Let's pick a couple to make it feel all calm and cosy in here. Look, a warm, crackling fire. And, ooh, a ukulele tune. Now for the smell. Oh, great. Look at these. These are some of Minnie's favourites. Look, Minnie. Salmon. Roast chicken. Oh, look, this one's your favourite. It's the bacon smell. Let's go for that. Wow, that smell makes me feel really hungry. Now, 
back to Minnie and why she's here with us today. When Minnie was younger, she was a puppy. She was always busy running around, jumping on everything, exploring and playing, and chasing our bigger dog Spence around the house. While Minnie was a puppy, we helped her learn how to use her attention so she can watch, listen, come to us when we call, sit, lie down, walk alongside us and do all sorts of clever tricks like giving you her paw. It was important to help Minnie learn these things when she was a puppy because when we're young, our minds are really good at learning things. And by training her attention, Minnie has been able to learn lots of new things. Maybe you know a dog who can do some great tricks too. When we train our attention, we too can become very good learners. So we do well at school and we can learn to do all sorts of cool things. But how do we do it? It sounds easy, but attention can be there one second and gone the next. Sometimes our attention flits around like a busy butterfly. Have you noticed your attention doing that? Doing the exercises here in the Zen Den and the Cosmic Kids Yoga Adventures will certainly help train your attention so it gets stronger and you can use it for longer. But like a puppy, like Minnie used to be, oh dear, it takes training and practice. So as well as doing Cosmic Kids videos, here are a few other fun ideas you can do to train your attention. Colour in a picture and keep colouring until you finish the whole thing. Make a Lego model from start to finish. Listen to some music and lift your thumb each time you hear a new instrument. Learn a song by listening to it and remembering the words bit by bit. Read a storybook or picture storybook and afterwards see how much of it you can remember without looking back at the book. Draw something in your house. A fruit bowl, a plant or a vase of flowers. Now for the hard one. Sit, close your eyes and breathe in and out slowly, ten times. This one is the hardest. It's the doing it slowly part that really tests you. Doing it fast is easy. When you do these things, see if you can notice when your attention wanders. And then bring it back to the thing you are doing again. When you do this, you are training your attention. In a couple of them, you'll be training your memory as well. So you get a gold star for those. You'll know when your attention is wandering. You'll think things like, Oh, I wonder what's for dinner. I'm bored. Or maybe I can tell my friends about Minnie, the puppy. Oh, what's that over there? Funny little thoughts. That's just your mind doing its thing. But when you bring your attention back, you eventually make your mind stronger. Thank you, Minnie, for helping understand about our attention. It really helps us. And keep up the practice to become a true Zen Den master. Bye-bye. Pose. Coming down onto our hands and our knees. We spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky. Yes! <gasps> now look, there's a friend. Hello. 
Oh, that's nice. Now, dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Now, dog pose is very good for strengthening our arms and stretching the backs of our legs. And because we're upside down, we get lots of lovely fresh oxygen to our minds. So it's very good when we're feeling a bit tired. Let's try wagging our tail on the other side now. Stretching our other leg up and giving it a wag. Waggle, waggle, wag. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Dog pose. Peace out. Cozy cats. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. First, let's get comfy. Find a space and either lie down on your back or tummy, or if you prefer, you can sit with your legs crossed or in a chair. Take a moment now to decide which works best for you. Now, take a moment to settle so you feel really comfy. When your body feels happy and you're feeling like you can be still, See if you can relax even more and let your body feel heavy. You can keep your eyes open or close them. It's up to you. Can you notice your breathing? Maybe slow it down a little bit so you can feel it. Coming in and going out. You might even be able to feel the air as it goes in and out of your nose. If you're sitting or lying on your back, place a hand on your tummy. See if you can feel the air filling it up and emptying with each breath in and out. In and out, in and out. Next time, as you breathe out, if you haven't already, let your eyes softly close. Notice how when you close your eyes, you switch off all the stuff going on around you and you are just inside yourself. You can still hear me, but you can enjoy being in your mind too. Now we can go on our adventure. With your eyes closed, your mind can make the pictures for you, just like a dream. You are inside a lovely warm house. You just had a bath and now you're in your pyjamas. Outside it's cold, the rain is tapping on the windows and the wind is blowing in the trees. You feel very glad to be inside, all warm and dry. Down around your legs you feel something warm and furry. It's a cat. It gives you a rub with its nose and soft furry body. It looks up at you and heads into the living room. Before it goes, the cat looks at you as if to say, come on, follow me. Cats are very good at communicating, 
using their minds, you think, and you follow it. There in the living room, the fire is lit. It crackles peacefully. The cat goes to the rug in front of the fire to sit down. You follow and sit down beside the cat. Maybe this is a game where you do everything the cat does. It's called copycat. It slowly looks from you to the fire. You do the same, looking from the cat to the fire. And enjoy watching the warm yellow flames. You look back at the cat and you see its eyes are slowly blinking, closing its eyes for a few seconds, then opening them. You copy the cat, closing your eyes for five, four, three, two, one, then opening them for three, two, one, slowly closing them again. Five, four, three, two, one. The cat lays down and curls onto its side. It rolls a little to find a really comfy spot, then sighs out through its nose and settles, just like you did when we began. You calmly watch the cat sleeping, all furry and cosy, its body slowly rising and falling as it breathes. Occasionally its ears twitch, like it's still listening out for any sounds coming from elsewhere in the house. You listen too, gently noticing any sounds you can hear around you. Lying here by the fire with the cat, you feel so warm and peaceful, calm and sleepy. In your heart, you feel like you might be a cat as well, just like this one. Such a cosy feeling. You feel thankful to the cat for showing you how you can be just as cosy and peaceful. Slowly now, start to come back, deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers and toes. Take a nice big stretch and slowly, gently open your eyes. Before you move anywhere, just take a moment to notice how you feel now. Different, maybe, to how you felt before your peace out. It's been so lovely to feel as cosy as cats. I hope you can take that feeling into other times in your life. Times when you want to feel cosy, safe and sleepy. Well done you. This is Jamie saying peace out.